የተከበራቸው የዩቲዩብ ቻናል ነው ሰዎች እኔ የጌታውን ሰው ሳታረብኝ እንኳን ወደ ዩቲዩብ ቻናል በሰላም መጣችሁ በዚህ ቪዲዮ ከዚህ በፊት የተለያዩ ማውጫ ፈተና ጥያቄዎችን ሰርቼ ማቅረብ ይታወቃል በዚህ ቪዲዮ ደግሞ ሌላ በ2015 ማውጫ ፈተና ውስጥ ከነበሩ ጥያቄዎች የቱርቦ ማሽነሪ ስፔሻሊ ለሜካኒካል ምንድስና ተማሪዎች የቱርቦ ማሽነሪ ጥያቄዎች ነው በዚህ ቪዲዮ ሰራታችኋለሁ ወቀት ባሁን ወደ ጥያቄዎቹ እናጣለን ሁላችሁም እንደዚህ ቻናል አዲስ ሆናችሁ ቻናሉን ሰብስክራይብ ማድረግና ቪዲዮቹን እስከመጨረሻ በመሄድ እንድትታጠራታችሁኝ እናላለን ከፍተኛ ወደ ጥያቄው ሲሄድ የየመጀመሪያ ጥያቄ which of the following alternative best describe the definition of turbo machine a device exchanging energy or work between fluid and the mechanical system b a device in which energy transfer occurs between the flying fluid and the rotating element c a machine commonly involves reciprocating motion and unsteady flow of fluids d type of device used for generating power so he uh, set up the idea now so let's see okay to set up the amaratu just turbo machinery but you can define me already getting you know me like this the turbo machine malad marat no it is a device in which energy transfer takes place between the flowing fluid and rotating element due to dynamic action and the result is in a change of pressure and the moment of the fluid so this is what the definition of turbo machine for example uh, turbine centrifugal compressors centrifugal pumps these are what the turbine of turbo, turbo machine but the examples of turbo machines so the correct answer for this question is answer b or option b which says a this turbo machinery is a device in which energy transfer occurs between a flowing fluid and rotating element so typically you have option b you know what it means okay the next one is the next question which of the following is a power producing turbo machine a turbine b pump c fan d compressor so from this which one produces power so to press for to answer the best or to select the best answer we have to know these explanations in this case the device in which the kinetic potential or intermolecular energy fed by the, fl the fluid is converted in the form of mechanical energy of rotating member is known as a turbine so in this case this turbine is for producing turbo machine turbo machine and the other machine there is the there is also another machine is on which can or which produces the power in the form of moving parts which is transfer to fluid to increase it is stored energy by increasing either the pressure or the velocity of the fluid so some of this the example of this machine are pumps compressors fans or whatever so the correct answer for this question is answer a turbine is a power producing turbo machine let's go to the third question the third question is the rotating wheel of turbo machine is called a rotor b impeller C runner D all of the above. So let us see the discussion part for this specific question. So in this turbo machine is basically a rotating machine or wheel, and the rotating wheel is also called rotor, runner, or impeller. So a rotating part of this turbo machine is called rotor, or we can call it as a runner and also as impeller. So the correct answer is option D, all of the above. Okay, let's pass to the next question. 
which one of the following is not component of turbo machine? A. Stutter B. Rotor C. Casting or shaft D. Motor So from this alternative, which one is not component of turbo machine? So the correct answer or to select the correct answer, we have to see the discussion for this. So here, these are the components of turbo machine. Here we have inlet and at this part we have rot rotor here, we have shaft or we have sink here, there is exit, there is stutter here, there is rotor blade, here there is stutter blade and these are what? Basic component or the principal components of turbo machines and they are rotor, stutter and shaft or passing. So therefore the correct answer for this question is option D motor is not part of not the principal component of the turbo machine. So the correct answer is D motor. Next question is water turbines, what are water turbines or water turbines are A they convert pressure energy, B they convert kinetic energy of air, C they convert heat energy of gas, and D they convert heat energy of steam. So which one best describes water turbines? So also to answer this question we have to see the explanation of this. So what are water turbines? So, when you say water turbine, these water turbines are a rotary machine that converts kinetic energy and potential energy of water into mechanical energy. So by doing so, is the pressure energy is the energy of a fluid due to applied pressure or force per unit area. And so if we if you have, we have a static fluid in an enclosed container, the energy of the system is only due to the pressure. And if the fluid is moving along the flow, then the energy of the system is the kinetic energy as well as the pressure energy. The correct answer is option A, they convert pressure energy. They convert pressure energy. So this is the correct answer for the question. This water, water turbine, or definition of water turbine. Okay. Let's move to the next question. The next question is the main difference between pump and compressor is the main difference between a pump and a compressor is a the pump can generate the highest pressure b the working fluid used for the pump is liquid and for the compressor is air or gas c the prime mover used for the pump is motor d prime mover used for the compressor is the cylinder so which one best describes or best shows the basic difference between pump and compressor so let us see the difference between pump and compressor. So here, the basic difference between pump and compressor is that a pump is a machine for rising a liquid, a relatively incompressible fluid to a high level of pressure or air. In this case, working fluid during this pump is liquid, and a compressor is a machine for rising a gas which is a compressible fluid to a high level of pressure. So in this case, the working fluid is gas. In compressor case, the working fluid is gas. And uh, in pump case, the working fluid is liquid. So this is the basic difference between this pump and the compressor. The pump is used, this liquid as working fluid, and this compressor use is gas or air as working fluid. Okay, let's go to the next question. The next question is, which of the following is not classified under rotary compressor? Which of the following flow type not classified under rotary compressor? A, axial flow, B, radial flow, C, mixed flow, and D, reciprocating. So from this, to answer this question also, we have to see the classification of flows under a rotary compressor so here we have different types of flow these compressor flows are classified as intermittent flow and continuous flow and under this 
this intermittent flow class where into positive displacement in this case in continuous flow there is dynamic as well as ejector type of flow and in this dynamic part we have a radial flow mixed mixed flow and axial flow so in this case we have radial mixed and axial flow so in this compressory due to this continuous flow part we have this radial mixes and axial flow and in this part also in intermittent flow part we have reciprocating flow also so from the question question says that which of the following is not classified under rotary compressor under rotary compressor part so the correct answer is option d option d is correct answer okay let's move to the next question the next question is that conservation of energy principle is stated on a first law of thermodynamics b second law of thermodynamics c zero law of thermodynamics and d zero law of thermodynamics so as i have this case in the thermodynamic model x exam question i have tried to describe four types of thermodynamics law and their basic principles and this question also asks us that is a similar question. So this the conservation of energy principle is stated on the first law of thermodynamics. So it, okay, one of the main and fundamental guiding law of life is a conservation of energy principle, and which means that energy is neither created nor destroyed, but just this energy change from one form to another form. So the correct answer is option A. This First law of thermodynamics describes the principle of conservation of energy. Okay, so let's move to the next question. The next question says that which of the following system was mass and energy can cross the boundary of control volume so from this option in which of the following both mass and energy can across the boundary of the control volume a open system b closed system c isolated system and d insulated system so to answer the question here the correct point answer is an open system in open system both mass and energy can cross the boundary and is Open system or control volume is a properly selected region in space and it usually includes a device that involves mass flow, such as compressor. And both mass and energy can cross the boundary of a control volume here. Yeah. So the correct answer is option A. Okay, the next question Which one of the following is not intensive property? Which one of the following is not intensive property? So A, temperature, B, pressure. C density D mass. So to answer this question, we have to know this intensive property and extensive properties. We have two types of property. So the first one is intensive and the next one is extensive property. So to answer the question, here we have to define intensive and extensive properties. So when we say intensive property, these are the properties which are independent of the amount of substance which present in the system. And the example of this intensive properties are pressure, density, temperature, viscosity, surface tension. These all are examples of intensive properties. And the next one is extensive property. So the extensive property is the opposite of what? That means the properties which are dependent of the amount of substance, which are dependent of the amount of substance within them. So the best example of this extensive properties are volume and the mass this volume and the mass are expressive properties so from the question the mass the mass so this d is correct answer and the next question is a device which accelerates fluid is device which accelerates fluid is a nozzle b diffuser c pump d capillary tube so which one or which device accelerated the fluid flow? So from this, the correct answer is answer A, 
nozzle. So let's define the term nozzle. It is a device which accelerates fluid and during this process, the one which is not intensive properties. And the next question is, energy can be transferred by, or in which one of the following form, energy can be transferred? A, work in form of work, B, in form of heat, C, in form of mass, and D in form of all, all of the above. Energy can be transferred in form of work, in form of heat, and in form of mass. The correct answer is answer F. So this energy can be transferred in the form of this energy transfer that we see in everyday life is transfer of kinetic energy in the form of kinetic energy. And this kinetic energy is it's energy associated with a motion from one moving object to a stationary object via a work. So in this, the energy can be transferred in the, in the form of work. In the others, this energy can be transferred in the form of heat also. In the form of heat also. And the others, it can be transferred in the, in the form of mass also. So this D is correct answer. And the next question is, hydraulic machines which convert the mechanical energy into hydraulic energies A. Hydraulic turbine B. Halton turbine C. Pump and D. Francis turbine So we have hydraulic machines and from this machine which one convert mechanical energy into hydraulic energy So to answer this we have to see the explanation also This is the hydraulic machine which convert the mechanical energy into hydraulic energy are usually what we call them the pumps the mechanical energy is converted into pressure energy by means of the centrifugal force which is acting on the fluid. The hydraulic machine is called centrifugal force. So C is the correct answer. And these are the questions that I have for today. And I will come in the next part on the other video. And thank you.